so we're gonna react to a quick 10 minute video okay today we're gonna be looking at hilarious 200 iq kids test answers these guys are far smarter than i am and they're only kids and i need you guys to answer me a question very quickly and you've got to be truthful have you yes you ever been to school if you have hit that thumbs up button right now i'm pretty sure that 99 percent of you have gone to school so i want to see 99 percent likes on this video i don't want to see any line guys so hit that like button now let's see just how smart these kids are what ended in 18 1895. These guys. Are you kidding me? What? I mean, I think the teacher was looking for like a war or the Great Depression or something like that. But yes, 1895 did end when 1896. The cheeky. We're gonna have to keep an eye on them. I'm telling you, if I was a teacher and they were answering questions like this, I'd be annoyed. Name the quadrilateral. Oh Bob, Sam, T they've just named them. You can't just. Okay, so number one's a square, number two is a parallelogram, number three is a rectangle, number four is also a rectangle, number five is a rhombus. Why do you name? You literally name the quadrilateral. What they mean by name the quadrilateral is name the type of quad. Give the I shapes name. Look, you can even see the box up here. Rectangle. What on earth is this shape? I need like a, a, two rectangles, oh, parallelogram, and a rhombus. I used to be good at maths. And you know what? Naming them Sam and Kate is probably easier than trying to work out what they are. Do you guys know the answer? Let me know. What is the strongest force on Earth? Sedimentary rock? Love. Love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Love. It is a very powerful force, but if rock and love came head to head, I think The Rock would win, unfortunately. Ooh, another maths question. If, if you haven't picked up yet, I was a bit of a maths nerd at school. I quite like maths. All right, this was from Peter. Expand. A, a plus... plus B to, to the power of N. So A plus B, let's say, is AB. I think that means A times B. Okay. B all squared by N. Uh, bigger. He's just expanded it. Literally expanded it. I think the right answer is A squared by N plus B squared. Honestly, haven't been to school in a long, long time, so I could be wrong. It's technically the right answer, but uh -uh. no points for you, Peter. Write an example of risk. This. Wait, they got a tick for it. They got a tick for answering this. As a risky answer goes in what is probably a very long answered question because of all of that white space, he actually got points for it. Fair play, buddy. The risk paid off. You are to assume the role of Chinese immigrant in 1870 and write a letter home describing your experience. Is this actually like legit Chinese? Can I translate it? It's, it's kind. I know Chinese. But it's really complicated. The right is a mixture of words in my translation app, but I think they actually wrote in Chinese. Which means whoever's marking this will have no idea how to mark it. An easy way to get a lot of points, I reckon. Hard and soft water. Briefly explain what hard water is. Ice. You ain't wrong. Name. Frankie. I earn money at home by... I don't. I am a freeloader. But you know what? <laughs> Round of applause to Frankie for being honest, and it literally looks like he wrote this as like a five-year-old. I don't expect many five-year-olds to make too much money from home. I mean, maybe you could do a few tasks around the house, empty your dishwasher, cut the lawn, and then you won't be a freeloader, Frankie. Find X. Here, here it is. This one almost looks fake. It looks like they've written it on their PC just to pretend that they're smart. But you know what? I think I figured it out. The actual answer is... Nope, maths has all escaped my brain. I'm sure I'd be able to answer this if I give more than two minutes, but my brain's gone, guys. All of the maths out my head. Of course, Tony practices the piano for 20 minutes every day. Claire bought me a piano, and I have yet to play it properly. I, I hate to admit it. Effect, he is a big nerd. That's not true. Guys, if you want to be passionate and if you want to learn something, make sure you do it. As a kid, you got so much free time. Learn to play the piano, play a sport, do some reading. Because trust me, as you get older, you won't have as much time to learn stuff. And being a nerd just means you're going to be a greater person when you get older because you're going to be smarter than everyone else. There you go. Life lessons of Allier. To change centimeters to meters, you... 
take out the sensei. I told you these guys would be cheeky. They're definitely 200 IQ answers, but that is to change centimeters to meters. You divide by a hundred. Let me get a round of applause from. Divided by 10. Oh, you divide by 100. Crap. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know what? This one is actually pretty smart. Right or? And I mean, he literally did what it said. To be fair, it's meant to be greater than or less than. Actually, it took me a while to work out because once he'd written all of yours, it looked like that was meant to be the right answer. He didn't get marked, but I'm pretty sure I was going to get him a zero. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid the next thing you're about to see is a very sad test answer. Draw a plant cell and identify its most important parts. And here we have a plant in a cell. No windows. Iron bars locked away forever. One like equals one prayer for the poor plant. Use commands to tell your sister to do the following things. Wait, oh, none of it's in English. It's meant to be a language test. I understand now. Well, I would have failed, that's for sure. I don't have a sister. <laughs> Minus seven. Like, she took marks away for that answer. That is not just getting no points, that's losing points. You don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, this one's got a teacher's note on it. Right, the right word on the light. He's done it right here. I, 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 I. Okay, well done. He's learned how to write I, but then look at the last one. Okay. I can and the letter P, and he is peeing. And the note says, Carson and I spoke about this, but I think it may be a good chance for Charlie to have a family discussion on best self at school. Oh, he looks like he's only in like year one or two and he's already been told off by the teacher. Not good. Name six animals which specifically live in the Antarctic. Could you guys answer this one? Two polar bears and four seals. Well, you know what? Technically that does total six, but I think they meant six unique animals. Although a clever way to get around it, because I don't think I could name six. What are three things you want to do in the future? Get a girlfriend, nice. Kiss her, congratulations, and rule the world. You know what, three solid things to do there. Ruling the world though, maybe a little bit hard. We have a student survey. Number one, in one word, describe school. Hell. This person clearly does not like school. Maybe a few of you guys would agree with it. Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. So just one reason why not. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe she didn't open her eye. Or maybe she is blind. Nice try. You know what? What's wrong with that answer? What kind of science answer or, or actual answer are you meant to give to that? The microscope may be broken. The diagram below best illustrates, and these have been crossed out, bear in mind, Lamarck's theory of evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution. Oh, I get it. It's just kind of like fake names, right? Mathis's principles or Lyle's theory about past changes. Well, I believe the answer is Darwin's theory of evolution. But if we take a look here, we have picture one. Three... Undetectable gray coverage. New one twist hair color by L'Oreal Men Expert. 90% of men think it's natural looking. Drops. The middle draft drops down. And by the third picture, the giraffe has literally died in his only bones, and the other two are still eating. We've written here, giraffes are heartless creatures. You know what? They could have at least pulled some of the food down and dropped it off to their body that's got a short neck. But that's the thing, guys. If you don't adapt, if you don't evolve, you die. <laughs> According to this, bit harsh. Luckily, we're not a giraffe, so we're fine. Doesn't matter how long our necks is. In fact, my neck is quite long, but I'm not a giraffe, so it's all good. Draw a picture of what you will look like in a hundred years. In a hundred years, I will be how many years old? Leave a comment down below. How old would you be? I'd be 126, because I've just had my birthday. One rip. Well, you know what? If we do all make it to above 100 years old, we have done a very good thing. We have looked after ourselves well because we must be very healthy. But the likelihood of Paul Warren here being rip and in the grave is likely. Would have been nice if you just drew yourself with maybe some grey hair and looking a little bit old. We can all believe, guys. You know what? Fun fact. One of us watching this video right now, at least one of us will probably make it to over 100 years old. That's something cool to think about. The difference between 180 and 158 is 22. That's, that's the right answer. Try this. Explain how you found your answer in problem four. Matt. Well, you know what? 
If you used any other form to get that answer, maybe you used English or maybe you used biology, then you wouldn't have found the answer. But the fun fact, Americans call it math and we call it maths. Which one do you call it? We call it maths. Don't know why you guys drop off yes, but just a little change there. Oh my gosh. I actually missed this one out because reading it the first time, I didn't understand it. Solving equation by. So you're basically meant to work out what the question mark is. They have just gonna knocked off the ends and <laughs> one times S I X is six. So the answer is six. Actually, you know what that does act? No, technically it's one divided by N. What does S-I-N mean? I don't know, but, but normally S-I-N is 1 divided by N times X. You work, that's so funny. You can see how much of a nerd I am when I actually want to sit down and try and work out this answer, even though I haven't done maths in like 10 years time. This is an old picture. The man can run, and the options you had is rub, run, or rug. Maybe the guy would want to rug, I don't know. Below that we've got the fox ran. The, the fox fog or four, okay. I mean, these ones are fairly obvious so far. The man pet the dog. But in the picture here, you can't quite see it. I think he's actually hitting the dog. Because the only options are fit or hit. And this guy's written, you should not hit your dog. Yes. You should got bonus marks for that. Never, ever, ever harm animals, guys. Okay, more life lessons right here with Ali A. Well, it was quite fun to go back to school and realize that a lot of these kids are more smarter than I am. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can check out more on screen here. And if you've got anything else you'd like me to react to or check out, do let me know. Drop me a tweet, leave a comment. Thank you. Yep, yeah, just so happens to be, we're done. <laughs> I can't wait to school.